one of the main challenges I think for both buy side and sell side is how to get their voices heard to regulators and policymakers ahead of the changes in uh, re the regulatory structure and in particular the MIFID II uh, regulatory framework which will be introduced over the next few years. And one of the main themes that the panelists identified was the need to get real world data as opposed to just opinions about how markets ought to be. And that, that real world data is actually much more effective at convincing policymakers about the issues and what potential solutions there might be to be most effectively applied. Well, this, this is a really you know, much debated topic at conferences like Trade Tech and others. And I think there is no simple answer to the problem of what is the right liquidity. Different market participants can agree or disagree. And I think there are obviously agendas from brokers and suppliers and, and buy side all preferring to have market structures of slightly different uh, uh, types. So the, the, the correct liquidity for a big institutional uh, investor with a large block and a very urgent order type might be different than, say, a, a passive or a quantitative investor who might be interested in, the, in the, the close. And so there is a lot of discussion about who puts together those different... You have a buyer who wants to buy now versus a seller who wants to sell at the, the close. Is it right for intermediaries to come into the market and, and take a temporary position? And what, what the, the relative value add of that versus other market structures. So as usual, there's a healthy discussion about liquidity, no simple answers, but that's what makes these discussions very entertaining. For, for us, we, we also see great advantage in measuring the quality of best execution. And by chance, ITG is launching our own uh, initiative to uh, develop foreign exchange TCA, the transaction cost analysis in other asset classes. So although people are mainly focused on equities at these uh, trade tech events, what we see is many of these principles also being applied to credit markets, foreign exchanges and, and others. So many of the same questions of the expense and cost of liquidity are, are actually proving to be quite universal.